Hi, I'm Rick Streaker with the Packard Academy. And today we're gonna to talk about a heat craft fan assembly. Now this particular fan assembly, it's packaged in such a way that the packaging can be reused for returning the old fan assembly. So take caution and uh, take care of that packaging uh, for the return of the old fan assembly. Now when we look at this fan assembly, this is called a high blade, EC for electronically commutated, axial fan assembly. This is made by EBM PAPS for heat craft. Now this particular motor is what's called an external rotor. And if you were to look at this closely, you would see that the fan blade is attached to the external rotor. So this is the rotor. And when the motor operates, that rotor is turning. And it's turning on the outside of the stator. And then the stator is underneath and inside this, uh, this external rotor. Now this assembly is a complete assembly so that it's easy to install. Easy to take the old one out, easy to put the new one in. Now there's a ring on here to help protect this when we install this. Let's look at the other side of this, uh, this assembly as well. So now we've flipped the fan assembly over and we've kept it in the heavy cardboard support, the heavy cardboard ring at the bottom. And when this is packed in the box, it's sitting in that ring in order to help protect this fan blade from any damage. Now we flipped it over to show the top of the motor. We see conduit coming out of the motor. There's also a cover on this. And this cover, when this is installed, would be removed in order to make the electrical connections. Now be cautious. There are two of these assemblies. Now these assemblies, they are used in air-cooled condensers used in supermarkets and industrial refrigeration applications. But the two assemblies, the only difference in them is the voltage. The numbers are pretty close to each other. So the heat craft number for the 200 to the 240 volt is a 2531801. But then the 380 to 480 volt assembly, the part number, the heat craft part number is a 2531801. So just be cautious that you're getting the proper assembly based upon the voltage that you have. Now, when we look at this, this is as the unit comes out of the container. But in addition to this fan assembly, there are documents that help with the installation of the, uh, the component and also with returning the old component. Now, the installation of this is quite descriptive and the instructions. So it's important to follow the instu instructions very, very carefully. In addition to this, there is cork tape that is included and a warning sticker so that uh, uh, the warning sticker will advise not to pressure wash this particular unit. One of the first things that we want to make certain of when we start replacing this, when we take the old unit out, we want to check absolutely positively to make certain that all power is off to the assembly. So make sure that you're using your multimeter and checking underneath this cover on the old unit to make certain that power is off. So once the, it's determined that the power is off, we can begin taking the old assembly out of the unit. Now again, there are very detailed instructions on this. 
And if we follow those step-by-step -step instructions, it's very easy to make the replacement on this. A word of caution, there will be conduit on the old unit. Make certain that that conduit comes, it stays with the old unit. You don't want to take it off of that old unit. And that should be returned with the old unit when the unit is replaced. But the wires are used. And don't tug and pull on those wires as you're taking this apart. Now to disconnect those wires that go through the conduit, you would remove the cover on the old motor. And the cover takes a uh, T20 Torx tool, uh, a T27 Torx tool may also be required for the installation in this, and a small screwdriver. Now I'm not going to remove the cover on this new unit in that there is a seal underneath this and I don't want to damage the seal under this just for the demonstration of this. So follow the step-by-step -step instructions, making certain that the electrical wires remain in the unit. We disconnect them from the old assembly, the old fan assembly, but we're going to use those wires and have those wires go through the new conduit. We absolutely want to use the new conduit when we replace the, the old unit. There will be connectors that uh, connect that fan assembly on the old one. We want to remove those connectors to access those wires. But again, following the steps that are laid out within the instruction manual will make this a very easy process. This is an ECM, it's an electronically commutated motor, so this might perform a little bit differently than what we see with uh, induction motors. But this is an exact replacement of the Heatcraft uh, original motor. The part numbers remain the same as well. So we hope that this helps in understanding what we have. Please, please notice, this is a big unit. And when you're replacing this, uh, there could be situations where it might be difficult getting this up a ladder onto the roof. So be prepared to take that into account when you're replacing this unit. Well, good luck with it. And we're here if we can support you in any way with this. Thanks so much.